What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Jote Homestead. Uh, today's video, doing a big upgrade to the tractor. One of the main issues on these tractors is just how big the engine compartment is. Especially when you're using the fork attachments. It's very hard to see exactly what you're doing, especially with standard forks. Um, I have some fork extensions coming, that'll help a little bit. But really the proper solution is to put a camera up on the front of the tractor. I'll turn the camera around to show you what I've done. Um, I, I went for a quick installation, just doing it myself. So I didn't go through a fuse and relay. Um, the camera kit came with a little 12 volt, like cigarette lighter plug-in, that, that old style 12 volt plug-in. So I'm just gonna use that for now. Um, but I'll show you what we've done. <clears throat> So the camera mounts just up here on the front bar. Um, bought like a nice little rubber rubber in the inside, but a nice uh, aluminum mount here. Um, just have the camera mounted there. Um, the coil here actually just helps keep up any tension there is. So as it vibrates, um, it'll stay tension there. Uh, and then the cable runs down through. I have it through a little hole uh, right there. Keep it away from the exhaust. So from there, it runs up underneath. I don't really have a good mount point to tie it there, but there's enough tension in the cable that it'll keep it where it needs to be. Um, and then it comes underneath the vent, and then it'll kind of follow these wires here. And then there's actually a, it's going to be hard to see in the dark, but there's a rubber grommet up there on the floor of the tractor. So I was able to go through the rubber grommet, um, and that's going to take it into the tractor itself. So from inside the tractor, I just have it running underneath the floor mat um, and then underneath this here. And then back on this side is where, underneath here is where I have all the main connections. Um, so the main connections are there and then the cable camera lead comes over here. So that'll connect up to, uh, sorry, the monitor. So that cable running underneath here will come back and uh, that'll mount up to the monitor connection right there um, and then that's the monitor for now I'm just doing the front camera there is an option to do a second camera so I could put something in the back and then for the power um, as I mentioned right there's just a 12 volt plug-in um, and a 12 volt plug-in here on the wall so for now that's all I'm gonna do to mount it up um, but it's gonna really help with it's really gonna help with the sight being able to see up on the front uh, with the forks um, I'm almost going in blind you know you can't stand up out of the seat otherwise the tractor turns off so it's really hard to actually see the front of it uh, so this is gonna be a pretty big upgrade um, I'll give you a view from the cab once it's all connected and have it running um, and we'll see how it actually looks picking up a pallet all right everything's hooked up uh, the camera's working uh, so let's give you a view of what it looks like from where I'm at. So we'll see if I can get this uh, same viewpoint from, from where I'm sitting to the front of the tractor. So this is my normal view. Uh, and, and I can't see anything up there, really. You know, like if I tilt it all the way back, then you can start to see the tips. You know, I'm, I need to paint them orange, um, and I'll have some orange fork extensions, but as soon as you're actually down on the ground trying to grab anything, you can't see it. But, you know, when you take a look at this camera, a uh, much better angle, so I can actually see the tips, you know, all the way down on the ground. Right now it's mirrored. Let me see. I haven't. Yeah, don't need that. Mode. Okay, so M must be back. Select. Da 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 da. 16 by 9. Yeah, so that's good. I like that, but <laughs> it's so funny. 
I like that because that's the same view, right? My dog's over on the right. So to show off uh, what the new camera can do, how it really helps with these forks. So let me turn you around and I'll show you picking up uh, one of these little pallets. Let's turn you around. So again, this is kind of my view. Um, when it's up a little bit in the air, you can see the tips, you know, they're now orange. And then here on the camera, you can kind of see it as well. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and boom down, level it out a little bit. The other trick I can do is move my seat up. Try to do this one-handed. Let me go to low gear. All right. You lose a little bit of depth of perception, but that's a lot better view, though. Well, see, it really started to turn. See, I'll show you, like. From my view, I can't see any of that. Like even if I lean forward a little bit, you can start to see it. You're up above me actually a little, like, you know, so that camera is just huge. Right? That one's pretty close. Is tied down it's down it's a little bit jittery the controls of the tractor but it'll do what I need so there we go that's how it'll work so let me set that off make it a little quieter so that's another pretty cool upgrade for the tractor um, so pretty excited for it to get some work done around the property having these forks on there are just immensely helpful it's one of the best tools you'll hear anybody say on a tractor um, it's just great for moving stuff around uh, lifting stuff up picking things up out of containers out of truck beds um, forks are very helpful on the tractor um, and then whew. all right thanks for watching until the next one take care